Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Well, today I'm working on a new project. Uh, this is a kind of a oh a mix between an HGP 407 and a Bruiser. So the video today is going to be on these bumpers. Um, I found these things on eBay, and uh, they they come. You can buy them separately, or you can buy them uh, as a complete kit with uh, the running boards. I chose not to do the running boards uh, because they yeah, they're pretty cool looking, but still, yeah, I think the running boards are kind of played out lately. You, know, you need some rock sliders or something. Um, but they're all aluminum. You put them together, and it's and these are physically they advertise them for the Tamiya Bruiser, which is cool to see that they're still making parts for the Tamiya Bruiser. Um, you know, it's like a kind of a hand me down right to the uh, HGP 407s over here. You know what I mean? So you know they'll fit if they'll fit the Bruiser, they'll fit the uh, HGP 407. So I decided to kind of do some kind of a matte. You know paint scheme so i didn't know what color to use because i you know there's just so many colors in my life and uh so i thought you know what i want to keep it a low buck build um and i had this body laying around so i ordered the bumpers and i had a bruiser frame that uh i have like a, a used kit i had bought to build someday and I kind of mocked everything up on the bruiser frame and so far it looked good but the color itself is this is the color out of my uh, oh my 80 Z28 restoration this is the interior color it's it's called camel tan and uh, it's kind of a matte finish and you know I kind of like the color of it because it gives it that you know that Sierra desert look you know so uh, and then you add some black accents to it and all that, you know. And the thing is, like, everybody wants to use, like, a white body to paint. Now, take it from a guy who's a body man, okay? It doesn't matter what color your body is because you're you're going to have to put enough paint on it anyway to, to you know, cover the, um, you know, the whatever body color is underneath it. And... So if you say you can't get a white body because everybody says white bodies are easier to paint, which I don't know, I've painted, you know, green fenders, you know, white and white, you know, and red fenders white, and I don't have any, you know, differentiations in color. A simple thing you can do is just get some gray primer and give it a dusting of gray primer and uh, then put whatever color you want on it. That way there you've got a neutral base to go by and uh, and you got some adhesion too. Now, the reason I, this used to be a black body, okay, and the reason that I like using the black bodies on these trucks is because if you've noticed, all you do is you just mask off your accents because they're already black, and, uh, you know, you mask off your window moldings, very simple to do, put your color on there, and, uh, like, even inside the bed itself, I just masked it off inside because it was black already, you know, and uh, then I shot my body color on there and then you unmask it all. Now you've got all your accents done in one swoop. You're not going back over your paint and remasking everything and it's just simpler that way. Now, if you did that with a white body, if you had a white body, then you're going to want to spray things black first, then mask it off and then you know, put your body color on there that you, of your choice. So, like you say, it's just a simple tip for, uh, you know, model building and stuff. Yeah, this, this body, I had to build a bracket on the front of it here because I opened the grill up on this. This is not the uh, RC Run metal grill. This is the uh, HCB 407 grill. And, uh, boy, it was, it was tough to... To open it up but I opened it all up because I plan on running a toy in um, L200 in here and uh, you know try to bring it into more of a super scale um, and I'm gonna run the three-speed transmission in this too so I'm gonna put a link below for the bumpers and uh, 
like I say, I hope you like the tips on the painting thing. You know, we just mask off whatever you need and uh, go from there. And like I say, the, the bumpers on this thing, they're all aluminum. You have to put them all together. They're not really super heavy. Um, the reason I went with the plastic grill on the front of this was because I'm trying to eliminate weight because I figured I was going to put these bumpers on here. And then inside, I was going to put in the L200 inside there, you can see, it started to, you know, take shape. But if I had the metal grill on here, it would be super heavy on the front of this thing. And, uh, which I, you know, I found that out with, you know, the build right next to it there. Once you get the metal grill in there, um, and the engine, you know, it, it brings up some, some good weight in the front. It's not that heavy. But uh, it's front heavy, and if you're gonna, my whole idea is try to get these things to go to crawling status. You know, when you're crawling, you want some weight on the front, but you don't want too much weight on it. You kind of want it, you know, you want to spread it out a little bit, balance it out, and uh, to make them look scale. Unfortunately, you got to have more weight on the front than the back. But it's a simple thing to do: is weight the back of it with you know weights or something, anything you need back there. I, like I put all my batteries and stuff in the back, a fuel tank in the back, and whatever I can put back there to kind of counterbalance the uh, the effect of it, because the weight <laughs> the weight affects the clutch. Okay, this is super heavy. This thing here. Now I had just got online, and I'm going to contact Toy and Engines directly, um, because it's it's kind of a lot of you know. You know, we're the number one manufacturer for the engines and this and that. I went right to Toyin directly. Uh, and they have a really cool looking red semi on there that they've put the L200 in. And uh, and they have like, uh, oh, like a clutch set up for these things. And what these things need is a better clutch, you know. Like this clutch here is aluminum. Um, I tried to use the, uh, you know, the regular like composite clutch it just melted the thing right away so i had to put aluminum clutch in it now i'm going to go with a bigger clutch in this because this v4 has some torque and the truck has some weight so when you're taking off it's got to give somewhere and the clutch is where it gives and it just overheats it so i have a clutch from a sen 7.7 the old sen genesis colossus whatever they were and it's massive and uh so you know the the spring tensions and all that stuff have a lot to do with your um you know your drivability so um one thing that i had seen on their on the toyan engine website was the they show a clutch that they it's a four shoe clutch that they had for the semi and it's it's pretty good size and uh you know and so i don't know i didn't read much into it but uh it, it looked like it, it's it's an update for the clutch so Anywho, like I say, I've got some more videos to come up with here, and uh, you know, i got a, another transmission I'm going to redo and, and stuff like that in and, and my next upcoming videos here. So stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you later, man. You guys have a good one. Like, share, subscribe if you want, and stay safe out there, man. Later.